I'm Rhoda, welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a strength combination and burn. So we'll do strength moves and then combination moves, building lean muscle and burning fat. So burning fat during the workout and then increasing your metabolism over time as you build lean muscle. If you like time efficient workouts for women, please subscribe to my channel. Let's go. to warm up, swing the arms, knees up, get ready, this is gonna be fun. You're saying, yeah, all right. No, really, it is gonna be a good workout. We've got strength to build lean muscle, combination moves to get your heart rate up. Let's do some squats just down and up. And then we'll do pulsing, which is gonna really drive it home on one of the muscle groups that we're working. Bring the heels up, we have eight rounds. 45 seconds each on our strength moves. Then we'll do a 60 second combination, taking each of the strength moves, putting them together. That's where your heart rate's gonna come up. Reach out. And then we'll do a burnout round for 45 seconds. Time efficient, 40 minutes. It's a full length workout, but time efficient because you're really getting two workouts in one. Let's bring the arms out and in. I'm using two sets of weights. Get a medium set and a heavy set. Arms up and down. I'm using mostly the medium set on the upper body moves, heavier set on the lower body moves, and then I'll go back to the medium set for the combination. The only exception really is this first round. I'm gonna use my heavier weight for the whole round. So if you have options, grab your heavier weight. We're going down for some back rows. So hinging forward, weight is in your heels, pull to the waist. My elbows are shooting back, not to the side. Back is flat, looking out about three feet in front of my toes, which keeps my neck aligned with my spine. Knees are slightly bent here, protecting that back, driving the weight through your heels. Row it up and down. If you have heavy weight, and you need to go to alternating, I'd like you to keep going with your heavy weight if you can, okay? You really need to change it up and lighten it. Go ahead and do that. But try to lift a little heavier. It's not gonna make you bulky. It's just gonna be more efficient. So while you're doing the work, might as well be as efficient as possible. Stepping out to a side lunge to your right. Ready? Here we go. This is your lower body part of the move. Over and up, other side. Step out, up and squeeze. When I say squeeze right here, squeeze the glutes, the kind of entire body, feel the core working here. Feels good. Over and up. No need to rush these moves. Really think about the move. Getting nice and deep into the lunge if you can. Sitting those hips back, weight in that heel. Real important. Keeps the weight out of your front knee right here. Okay. So one more each side. Started on this side, we got a double one over here. That's okay. Okay, so we're gonna combine those. So we'll step out in the lunge, get down in your lunge. Once you're there, you can do your row, release your row, and then come up and stand. Take a deep breath. This is where our heart rate goes up, okay? Get ready. Stepping to your right, here we go. Over, row, drive it up, good. Row it. Come on up. Now this is 60 seconds for these combination moves. Lots of time. So take your time, make each move count. I'm breathing heavier, are you? You should be. When we put the upper and lower together, that's what happens. More muscles in the body, we're wanting oxygen for fuel. So the heart has to pump harder. So Lungs need to bring more oxygen in. It all works together. Over and up. up. And one more. We'll finish on this side this time. And rest. Whew. 
Okay, onto our burn round. Get our feet wide for that wide lunge, so we're not stepping this time. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then the other side. So come with me, we'll go to your right. Here we go, into the lunge. Pulse, 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 and stand, other side. Alternating here. So we're keeping this lower body under tension right here. Just a different way to challenge those muscles, make them want more oxygen, they're gonna be nice and strong and lean. Pulse with me. Come on. These larger muscles of the lower body. They're gonna help get your heart rate up too. Let's finish on the other side. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. First round is over. Yay. On to our second round. Starting with an overhead press. So I'm going to my lighter weight, this is shoulder. And depending on your fitness level, it's gonna really dictate the weight. I try to be careful with my shoulders. Weight is up, palms are facing my ears, pressing overhead. Get ready, here we go. Push it up, slowly down. Slowly up, slowly down. Now I'm in a staggered stance. That means my front foot is forward. Doesn't matter which foot. I find this stance best when I'm doing overhead presses, but maybe you like a wide stance like this. That's fine too. Or the other foot forward. Whatever feels good to you. That's what I want you to do. Stay with me, it's hard, I know. Pushing it up and down. Now if it's super easy, and you're thinking you could do this for the next two, three minutes. Time to get more weight. One more, come on. Push it up and down. Awesome. All right. So with this, we are going into another lunge series. Now, I love the side lunges. These are a little more challenging for me. We're going to go into a rear lunge, bring that back knee down, come on up, other side. Here we go. So lunge it back, come on up, other side. Weight is in the back toe, and the back knee takes you down into the lunge. Whoops, <laughs> catch your balance if you lose it. So this is what I see sometimes, and that's putting all the weight in the front knee. You wanna come back and let that back knee take the weight. Keep your shoulders over your hips, that's gonna help. So taking it back, and up. Okay, so combining. I have weight that's fairly heavy for my shoulder. So if you do two, you're gonna step back on one side. The side you step back on is the side you press when you're in the lunge, okay? Looks like this, here we go. Press, come on up, other side. Now, your weight's lighter and you can press both at the same time. Press both, okay? This is a tough one right here for me. So cheer me on, I'm cheering you on. Ugh, hard stuff, worth it. You are worth it, we are worth it. Stay with me. Heart rate's up, you feel that? Huffing and puffing? That's the cardio effect right there. That is awesome. Stay with me, come on. Ooh. Left side's getting tired. I'll do a little better with this one if I can. There we go. All right, just last one for me right here. Pushing it up. All right. There it is, okay. Cheated just a tad on that one. I might have been able to get another rep. So we're gonna take that lunge. Hear my breathing? Huffing and puffing. One, two, three, up. Other side. Get ready, deep breath. Here we go, pulse it. Same cues, back knee bends, weights in the back, front heel, back toe, shoulders over the hips, not leaning forward out of this lunge at all, okay? 
Keep those knees safe. Stay with it. I'm not looking at the clock. I don't want to know. Uh, I hope we're close. We're close. There it is. Excellent. Okay. I hope that burns. It's supposed to. When those muscles are burning, they are burning fuel. All right. That fuel is oxygen and fat. Okay. All the way down, go into a bicep curl squat series. So I'm going to roll up my shoulders, get ready, grab my medium weights, starting with the bicep curl, palms towards me, shoulders back. I'm in the stagger stance. You choose how you want to have your feet. Elbows stay right at the waist here. Don't squeeze the weight too hard, but squeeze the muscle up at the top, bringing it up and down. I'm smiling because I can hear myself breathing heavy. I hope you are too. Don't think this is easy for me. It's not. These workouts are hard. They're supposed to be. Might as well work as hard as you can for the time you allot to take care of your body. Good. Okay. So, moving on to a squat. So, I'm going to, for this squat, increase my weight and then I'll go back to my other weight for the combination. Feet are shoulder width apart. I have the weight at my side, weights in my heels, sit back, down, drive through the heels, up and squeeze. Same speed down as up. Good. Squeeze everything at the top. Everything except your hands. Keep those hands relaxed on those weights. Couple more. One more. Finish with me. And up. Good. Okay. And back to my lighter weight. Medium weight. These aren't light. I'm gonna do that curl. So stand. Get ready for your squat. I'm going to curl, do our squat, come back up, and then release the curl. Here we go. Curl it up. Now squat. Down, up, release the curl. You're going to feel this weight, the front of your body, try and pull you forward. I want you to fight that. Weight is in the heels. Sit way back here. You can get super deep in this squat. You're warmed up. got to do it right, though. you got to drive through those heels. Keep the chest up. So in other words, you're not hinging here. Don't let that weight pull you forward, okay? Weight comes up, keep it back. Sit back in the squat and release. Bring it up, squat, drive it up. Stay with me, elbows are right in at that waist, right? And there it is. All right. So we have that pulse. It's going to be the squat. I'm going to grab my heavier weight again. Lower body. Back to that squat. We have our pulse round. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Push through the heels up and squeeze. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And up. I'll be quiet. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear me say pulse for 45 seconds. <laughs> so you get the idea. A little bounces down there. Weight is in the heels, though. Make sure that you're back in the squat, not leaning up into those toes. Come on up. How are you feeling? We're getting there. Bring it up. One more, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. 
Good, good job. All right, up next, while you're getting some water, I'll show you we've got a fly for the back. So palms are gonna face each other, hinging down in that deadlift position. So back is flat, weight comes right out to the side. Now the arms bend a little bit here, not too much. Here we go, out and in, open, close. Now think about the shoulder blades. You should feel them right here, pop up around the spine. That's what we want. Eyes are three feet forward. I'm not looking at my toes, keeping my neck aligned and safe. Getting there, come on, a few more. you can do heavier weight. Heated deadlifts is just proper form. A little bend in your knee, okay? Weight is right in the front of the body. It doesn't go out. Hangs right close to the body here, down and up. Back is flat, hips go back. I am not locking my knees, so I'm not nice and tight like that. My knees have a little bend as I go down, and I'm not letting this weight go out like that. It's gonna pull on your lower back, it's not good. Right here. Drive up through your heels and squeeze. I'm not moving fast on these strength moves. Slower is better. Keep the range of motion. Keeping that muscle under tension. Down and up. Or that muscle group in most cases. Or groups with a plural. And rest. Okay, so taking the deadlift and the fly. So we're going to hinge down into the deadlift. Once we're there, we'll do the fly. Finish the fly. Come on back up. Here we go. Weight is facing each other, palms, but still stays close to the body. Do your fly. Come on up and squeeze. Hinge down, flat back. Squeeze. Finish the move. And then come up. Don't try and combine these when you're moving from the, the back into the deadlift. Two separate moves. But by working upper and lower, feel that heart rate come up. Long 60 seconds, come on. Time to do a number of reps here. So we want. One more, come on. And up, excellent. All right, so deadlifts are hard and not really recommended to be pulsed. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get in our deadlift position. We're gonna go one side and up, then we'll go the other side. Here we go, so it's down, two, up, two, other side, down, two. So we're loading that leg up the side that you're hinging down on, keeping that weight close to the body though. Finish the move, come all the way up before you rotate over the other side. Nice and slow. This is the only round here, deadlifts, where we're not gonna be pulsing. But we are maxing out these muscles. And rest. Good. 30-second rest. So coming up, we have a side raise. So both arms come up, shoulder height, shoulders are back, lift, and lower. Now this is a small muscle across the top of your shoulder. The weight is going to get heavy. You can almost guarantee that I'm going to need to start alternating at some point. Get ready. Here we go. So keep that in mind as you do these, 
You can go to an alternating raise. If you have heavier weight, I want you to do the 45 seconds so that we keep that heart rate up. But if you need to alternate, protect those shoulders. I've had rotator cuff surgery on both sides, so I'm super careful of my shoulders. So if I need a little break, I go to an alternating raise. If you have lighter weights, keep going with the double raise. Okay, catch my strength there a little bit. Go back to the doubles, finish it off, and rest. Okay, back to my heavy weight for my lower body. This time we have a chair squat, or also known as a skier squat. Feet are together in this one. So feet are together, same squat move. Sitting way back, drive through your heels, up and squeeze. It's gonna feel different. There's more balance involved here. When you come up and squeeze, you're gonna feel those legs engage all the way around through the inner thigh. Line up. I was leaning a little forward there. I'm going to keep my shoulders up and back a little better. There we go. That was better. Correct your form if you need to. I'm constantly correcting mine. Down and up. Rest, good, okay. Back to the lighter weight, relatively speaking, for these side raises. It's weight's far away from the body. Long levers, so gravity's pulling on the entire arm. We're gonna go down into the chair squat. Come with me. Take it down now, side raise. Drive up through the heels, squeeze. So the side raise is down in the lunge. I'm sorry, down in the squat. Ah, lunges on my mind, down in the squat. This is kind of like what we do with the bicep curl, where we held the curl while we did the lower body squat. This time we're holding the squat while we do the upper body. This is 60 seconds, long time. So if you need to alternate, alternate on the upper body here. Try and make it. At the same time, I'm pushing myself, but recognizing you know, where the limit is. If I need to stop, I would. Feeling pretty good though. Not feeling strain, just feeling work. It is work. And good, rest it. All right, good. We've got chair squat pulses. Back to my heavy weight. I wanna make these count. Feet together. Pulsing that squat, sit back in it, chest up, okay? Deep breath, here we go. Three, two, one. Now you should be able to wiggle your toes when you're down here. That's how direct the weight is into those heels. The toes can literally come off the mat. Down and up. Squeeze at the top. You should be burning at this point. We are about two thirds of the way through here. You should be feeling these worked. These works. <laughs> These exercises down and up. It is work. That's kind of what I was thinking. You should feel the work because you've been working hard. And down and up. Here we go. Okay. Good job. All right. Let's test this next one out. See how I'm feeling. You just might have your weight. We've got an overhead lat extension here. Up and down. Now I think, oops, I think for my first first round of strength, I can do the heavier weight. If you have super light weights, you can hold them next to each other here and do these with light weight. If you have a heavier weight, grab it on the ends, or you can grab it this way too. Where it feels comfortable is behind your head. Here we go. Elbows towards me. Full extension up, slowly lower this down. Abs are tight here. That's going to help support your back. So it's going to help with this lift. These are small muscles in the triceps, back of the arm. Doesn't take much to wake them up. Relax your neck. When I say these things, it's because I'm often scrunching my neck or my shoulders. So it reminds me 
to remind you, because maybe you're doing the same thing. I want your workouts to be good for you. I don't want you to cause any pain. Maybe a little soreness is okay. No pain. Up and down. All right, that was tough. That was tough, but that was good. Okay. And my other heavy weight. We've got some wide squats. So on this, your toes and knees are out. Feet are wider than the knees. Knees are wider than the hips. Hold the weight where you feel comfortable. Down and up. There's one area you can hold it. You hold it here so long as you keep your shoulders up. Some people like to put this weight up on their shoulders. Not be on that. As I've mentioned, my shoulders wouldn't love that. The key to this one, sit back in this. Shoulders up, chest up. Feel it. You are warmed up, more than warmed up. Get nice and deep if you can. All the way perpendicular to the floor if you can, up and squeeze. Parallel to the floor, sorry. Not perpendicular. Down and up. So, legs right here. Parallel to the floor if you can make it. And up. Awesome. All right. So, we're going to combine. I think I'll stick with my, my heavier weight. We're going to combine this move. We are going to add a press here. So, as we come up out of the squat, we'll press the weight overhead. Follow me. Here we go. Squat. Press as you stand. Now do the tricep. Bring it up as it comes down. Squat. Press as you stand. Good. Squat. Push it up. Arms are shaking. That's good. At the same time, control your weight, right? It's up over your head. If it truly gets too heavy, light it up. Or even go through the motions here with no weight. Or if you need to lighten it up and just want to hold something, grab a water bottle, grab a little paperback book. Lots of different ways to keep those muscles engaged. This one's a tough one, but I kind of like it because I know we're working inner thigh, glutes, triceps, back of the arms. And rest. Good. Okay, catch your breath. We got two rounds left and we are going to the going to the mat. Okay. I'm gonna start with a chest press from a high position. And okay, whoops. I have to, ooh, we forgot the burn. Darn it. Okay. Whoops. My bad. Come on up. <laughs> Sorry. Pulse it out. Here we go. You're probably all going, where's the burn, Rhoda? It's right here. Pulse it out. Getting ahead of myself. I was excited. I thought we were done that round. Not paying attention to my own workout. It's okay. The human after all, I can hear Lindsay and Marissa and Tony, people in my class, saying, Rhoda, you bring out the burn. My babes and beast mode class inspired this channel. I love them. I love you. Without my clients, I can't change lives. So thank you for trusting me with that. All right, so now we're moving on to a press. We have a press and a bicycle. I'm gonna take the weight right up high. Push your back to the mat. One weight comes down and presses up. And then we go to the other side. So we're holding that weight up. So the chest is under tension this entire move. Here we go. Down and press. Now I have my heavier weight here. The chest is a strong muscle, not as strong as your back, especially women. But it is a stronger muscle. It can lift heavy. Down and up. For my combination, I will go to a lighter weight because we'll be doing both arms at the same time. This single arm here, you can go heavy and really do some deep muscle work. Down and up. Now you're gonna feel those triceps, we just worked them. So they are supporting this move and I hope they are burning right now. Good. All right, putting that weight aside, lower body is a bicycle. So we're not gonna use any weight here. I'm just gonna bring my tens over so I have them. Knees up, hands behind your head. Take this one slow. 
Let's twist, shoulder to knee. So twist, then switch legs. Twist, abs are tight. Think about having a grapefruit, a softball, something nice and big under your chin. Keeping it off your chest. Twist it out, work those abs. A little bit faster when we do our chest press with the bicycle kick. Right now though, I want you to take this slow. Work these muscles slowly through the range of motion. You have to work harder than if you are pumping those legs super fast. All right, so combining this, grabbing my lighter weight for this one. We're gonna have the knees up as we press. One leg goes out, comes in, and then the other side. Catch your breath at 60 seconds. It's gonna be a long one. Here we go. Press, and the leg is out. Weight comes down, other side, and down. Now, if you're just starting out, you can keep a foot on the floor here. Still, I want you to kick those legs out because with the upper and lower body working, you are making the core work. It connects the two. In this case, those abs, the rectus abdominis, right up and down the front of your tummy. Pelvis to chest bone, breast bone, I should say. Up and down. Feel it, I hope so. We are coming up on the end here of this one. Good. All right, so putting the weight aside, we are gonna pulse those bicycles. So this is fun. We're gonna hold it in that position for three, two, one, and then switch legs, okay? Get ready, here we go. Pulsing it out, three, two, one, three, Two, one, again, if you're just starting out, put on the floor between each pulse. As you get more advanced, add the leg out that's gonna engage that lower ab a little bit more. I hope you're burning, because I sure as heck am. Whew, stay with me, come on, do your best. Take a rest if you need to and jump back in with us. We're almost there. We have one round after this. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Ooh, feel that? <sighs> so I forgot my water when I set up to do this workout. I hope you have water. Please be drinking your water. I certainly will when I'm done. Okay, we're moving to a glute bridge. I'm gonna put your weight one of your heavy weights, if you have options, if you have lighter weights, you can hold two weights here, that's fine too. We're gonna bring our heels in right up to our bum. Hold the weight so it doesn't roll into your chin. Drive through the heels, hips up. Ready? We come way up, squeeze, slowly lower. Drive through those heels, bring it up, and down. Work in the back of the leg here. Those hamstrings, the glutes. Up and down, squeezing at the top, driving through the heels. Feeling the glistening, <laughs> that's what we call, called it in my classes, glistening, sweat. And it is not warm in here so it is all being generated by my work all right we are going to finish the triceps off okay now one or two weights if the weight gets super heavy you can hold the weight on either end bring this weight to your ears and then extend it up to the ears and up now we have burned up these triceps if they get tired you can take one weight Hold it on either side, bring it right to your forehead, be careful, and then extend it up. So right to the forehead and up. Those are your two options, okay? Ways to lighten your weight. I will likely do that 
with the combination move. Push your back to the mat. That's going to help you lift here. You can go to alternating. You want to stick with your heavier weight. Lots of options. All right. So we're going to combine that glute bridge. We're going to hold that glute bridge. And we're going to do a tricep extension while we're holding that glute bridge. So it's going to come at you at a little bit of a different angle. I'm going to use my heavier weight, holding it nice and tight. Hips are up. Here we go. Right to the forehead. Extend. Drive those hips up. Keep them up. You feel any twinging or anything there, you can bring the hips down, take a, take a beat of a rest, and try and pop back up. If it really becomes too much, keep the hips down. But if you can keep this angle in the body, just going to add a little benefit. Holding that position in the lower body, engaging the core. Come on, stay with me. My arms are shaking. Yours are good for you. That means you're working hard. Also be careful though. Weight is up over your face. <laughs> so if you need to lighten it, please do. Please do. Don't drop the weight. Control it. Down and up. Oh, I feel it though. I love it. Down and up. All right. Sticking with that weight. Got the combination. I'm going to pulse these bridges, so I want you to really drive through those heels. And you're up there, okay? This is it. Get ready. Here we go. Up for three. Three, two, one. Lower. Bring it up. Push. Three, two, one. Feel those muscles engage. Burn it up. Three, two, one. Good. Come on. We are at the end. You are done. You did it. Pulse it. Are they burning? I hope so. Mine sure are. Here it comes. Almost there. Finish your last one. The three glorious peeps, right? Okay, we are gonna stretch. So, grab a sip of water, get those weights out of the way. Stay with me down here on the mat. Let's kick the legs out, arms up over your head. Just melt into your floor. Ah. Good. Bring the knees in, give yourself a hug. Rock back and forth. That lower back works really hard when you're doing strength. That's where your power comes from, your core. And take one knee in. And stretch out those glute bridges we just did. Pretty powerful stuff there. Bring the knee back to the chest. The foot that's on the ground, you're going to lay it down. Reach across the body. Guide this leg across. Reach away with your opposite arm. This is a really efficient stretch and it feels awesome. We're getting our bicep, our chest, glutes, core. Now while you're here, the arms out to the side, grab the foot. Drive the hip forward. Feel the front of your leg stretching here. Let's bring it on to your back again. Now straighten those hips, other knee in, kick it up, feel the stretch, should feel nice. Now I suggest longer stretches. There is a playlist on the channel. Get the longer stretch, seven to 20 minutes I think they run. Whichever option feels like he'll fit into your time frame. Knee is in, leg is down, coming across the other side. Reach away, feel that stretch. Same on this side, grab that foot, drive the hip forward, feel the front of the leg stretch. Good. All right, come on up. Go ahead and have a seat. 
10 feet more than this of your hair that you probably need while you're on the mat. Deep breath, let's twist to one side, look over one shoulder. Let's come back the other way. And to the center, pat yourself on the back. Good job, you made it to the end. Grab that elbow, nice deep stretch in those triceps. It's a real area that women want to work, and I do too. We want them to be as firm as we can. Also accepting that gravity is a thing, right? And no matter how firm they are, that gravity is gonna pull that skin down. Let's lean forward, drop the head, Relax, feel the stretch come up from the lower back. Bring it on up, deep, deep, big smile. <laughs> Give me a big smile. You did it. Thank you for joining me. Please come back off and new content is coming out every week. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.